1972, during a visit by... Uh... The Norwegian King's Guard, they decided to adopt a penguin when visiting the zoo, and they gave this penguin the rank of Lance Corporal. We're at the zoo to capture some footage of the penguins and, if we're lucky, we might even get some footage of Nils himself. His full title is Sir Nils Olaf III, Brigadier of the King's Guard of Norway, Baron of the Island of Bouvier and the official mascot of the King's Guard Bodyguard Regiment of King Harold of Norway. <laughs> The importance of penguins relating to Norway and Scotland doesn't actually begin with Nils Olaf, but rather with Roald Amundsen. He was the first person to reach the South Pole and gifted Edinburgh Zoo with its first king penguin in 1913. Nils gets a promotion every time the Norwegian King's Guard visit, to the point where he now outranks the person who first thought of the idea. Nils Egling. Plus, if I read the wiki right, which I probably didn't, Brigadier is a pretty high rank, especially for a penguin who hasn't done anything, except be adorable. The idea to adopt a penguin was first thought of in 1961, when Nils Eglin was actually visiting the penguin colony. That was a full 10 years before they even adopted him. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering... Wait a minute. He was adopted in 1972. He'd be over 45 years old. Surely he'd be dead by now. No, we're actually on our th third. We're actually on Nils Olav the third. Now, if you'll allow me to go a wee bit flat earther for a second. I think what's actually been happening is Nils works as a Norwegian spy for the government. Now, Edinburgh Zoo keeps figuring it out, so they have to assassinate him. You can't just kill a penguin and get away with it. No, they have to cover up. They find a new one. We're now on our third nils. You think penguins just drop off like that? No, that's suspicious. But of course, that's just a theory. It couldn't possibly be true. I think what this actually tells us is that nils is not just a penguin. He's an idea. The thought of something bigger than us. Proof that Scotland will always have connections with places outside of the UK, no matter what. Some way related to a place out with Scotland. Whether it be through family, immigrating here, or even your friends. Thank you.